Hello and welcome. Today we will be conducting a lab that teaches students that the more mass an object has, the less effect the force will have upon it. The name of this lab is Shootout. The materials you will need include Alka-Seltzer tablets, film canisters, water, mass scales, modeling clay, yardsticks, and tape. The Sunshine State standards in this lab have students investigate and describe that the more mass an object has, the less effect a given force will have on the object's motion. The inquiry question for this lab is, using the materials provided, design an experiment to define the relationship between the amount of mass and the distance that a film canister travels. The conclusion statement for this lab is, having more mass around the canister will decrease its capability of traveling further. Now on to the lab. First, divide your students into groups of two to four. Have one student from each group get up and get the materials they will need. Ask the inquiry question and give them about 30 minutes to develop their experiment and come up with a conclusion. Here's what the demonstration will look like. First, you want your students to measure the mass of a film canister with water. This canister is 12 grams even. And now you want them to add the modeling clay to the outside of the film canister. And your students can do this inside or outside. If they do it outside, just make sure they bring the scale with them because they're going to remeasure the mass. Make sure you zero out the scale now that it has clay on it. And this one went from 12 grams to 21 grams of mass. Now we'll go outside and we'll show you what it looks like when we launch it with the modeling clay on top. After 30 minutes, open a discussion using these possible questions. What happens when you add more mass to your canister? If you drop a marble and a bowling ball off the Empire State Building simultaneously on a windless day, which one will hit the ground first? Which one will leave a bigger dent when it hits the ground? That's all for today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.